Greetings. Hi. Chris Courtney here. New Pragmatic. The um, I've managed to trade my cold off to everybody around me. So, luckily, there's like the vast internet between us. So don't get too close. I've only gotten everybody else sick. And I don't want to do that to you. Um, it's time for the feedback loop. It's a great Monday morning. Um, it's great for me because I was able to take this weekend and actually get some stuff done. Rebuilt the homepage. Felt really nice. Um, this is the new Pragmatic homepage. And now there's like, oh, I don't know, details about the program and who actually d runs it and like how much it costs. Yeah, all that stuff was like missing before. Um, it's important to like have a homepage, kids. <laughs> <laughs> I kept getting questions like, um, hey, who's the mentor? Or, like, what are the mentors? It's like, it's me. It me. I the mentor. Um, you know, I think that's very important, by the way. Uh, consistency. Like, if you want uh, to have a consistent experience, you need to know, like, who the mentor is. Stuff like that. But, um, so I had a, had a very successful weekend. Um, unfortunately, my kid's, kid's sick. Uh, so she did not have a successful weekend. Um, but all that said, let's get right to it. Uh, we got a, um, got a light load this morning. I'm guessing everybody was sick over the weekend. Um, but Rebecca Barr was hustling. If you, uh, remember Rebecca was, Rebecca sent over her project last week. Um, and we had been working on it. I know that, um, I know there's a few other students that had worked on, their projects over the weekend, but it, they were they were more doing research and analysis. Already got them their feedback, but let's focus here on Rebecca. Rebecca, if I look over here, she's made a, a lot of progress. I mean, I mean, just a boatload of progress on her designs. You can see that she's really taken to the concept that we had that we had discussed last week. Um, she's Looks like she's still trying to figure out, like, potentially the colors. Um, I really think this is a much stronger direction for you overall. I would say that um, on this particular version, just having a little more... I, mean, I, would, I would just give yourself a little more of this color block and then bounce these... Um, bounce these... Oops. I will just go through and individually select them then just bounce these further down um, give yourself plenty of room there's no reason to crowd it um, yes I realize you probably want this to be similar throughout so by all means do that so like adjust these accordingly but I, I do think that this is like a this is a strong it's a strong move for your portfolio from where from where you were and and really, this isn't this isn't um, all that um, all that hard to pull off. I might even go to three lines here. Um, hi, you know, and then kick this. This is Rebecca. Welcome to my bio. And then like move, just move this stuff down because this this is all like a greeting. This reads like three sentences. Um, and then when you do that, you just expand that down. Oops. Move this down. You know, you can keep that there if you want it to. You can move it down. Whatevs. Whatevs. Whatevs you want to do. I realize I'm, I'm like drawing around on your file, so I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna save that. I'll just leave that there. You can watch the recording. But I do think the tweaks. The tweaks would be helpful um, because you can you can kind of see where you know if we left all this where it was. This is really tight. This this doesn't read the way that I think you want it to read. Um, and I, a lot of times I think about how I would say this. You know, there'd be like a stop, and you know, like you, there'd be a stop here, and you'd re you'd like really like reorient your your persona 
uh, you, you go you go from like being super excited and fun to a little more serious. And I think that's 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 you need to think in those terms when you're sh- structuring how this looks. Um, but I do like it. I like the consistency between these. I think you're beginning to develop a style, and you know that brings into question, you know, what to do over here, what to do over here on this on this page, because now you've got the semblance of a style with the, like the color block thing going here. Um, a large part of me is like, hey, you know what? Why don't we just pick that up and and do do the same thing over here you know um, and then if you want to you know I'm just gonna come over here and grab I know you've got these in the background I'm just gonna come over here and grab this and we're looking at Octa now you know okay Octa maybe Octa's right here and yeah, I'm, I'm just gonna duplicate this really fast there we go I don't know where it put it I'll put it way over there all right well that's fine um, yeah, I'm just gonna drag that over there and that will allow me to kind of leave this alone all right so now I got I got a copy over here to play with all right so I'm gonna delete that away I'm just gonna align this uh, there we go. Group it. Line it. Boop. All right. Now we bring in our fun, and you know you can do whatever you you want here. I don't. I don't. I would not advise. Even though this like, ooh, it ni- nicely fits together. I would not advise trying to f- fit this there. Um, it just it just conveniently fits there for the moment. Um, or it did. The, the thing I'm always worried about is, oh, I could space it just so, and then, like, you go to be responsive, and then you're like, what happened? Um, so I, I don't even like to, I don't even like to think about it. Um, I like to pretend that that just didn't happen, and I'll come in, I'll just do a, a you know, color block of that. Again, I'm just, um, I'm trying to show could do where the hell is that other thing okay yes you I want you you I want all of that want that to the front And I realize you've got a lot of things here, and they may not be organized so well in this in this uh, Figma file, or at all. Um, we can work on that. We can work on that. One of the things that grouping does for you is it allows you to move things around really fast, and it's really nice to have. And I will, but I will not harp on the fact that this is not grouped. Anyway, so. You know, you've got this. So this is a dramatic departure from just a little square. But because you've got that big color block to work with, you can do stuff like that. All right? So keep that in... Keep, think about that. Now, as we're going through, there's something else that I noticed, and these are things that you've you've changed over the weekend. You came back with this this bar treatment, and that's fine. However, um, you've got, like, this is 18, that's 20, and then this is 18 as well. Like, these things are really close together. I need, I need some space for you to operate from a, from a perspective of hierarchy. So I'm going to suggest these go up to 24. And, you know, one thing I, I want to do here is I want to create a text style. Um... I want to create a text style here, and I want to make sure Couchbot is not losing its mind. Uh, yeah, 
Yeah, we know, Couchbot. All right. My bot, my bot is a little overexcited about the fact that we're, we're live streaming right now. Uh, looks like somebody else might be in feedback loop too. Okay, no, that's Rebecca. Hi, Rebecca. By the way, if you're watching along, feel free to chat with me through the Discord channel. Um, I am I am watching that channel, um, so that's where you can reach me. Um, and if you're not part of the Discord community, like get over to newpragmatic.com and hit the apply for access button right there on the front, right there on the home page, so that you can get in and find out when we're streaming and and you know participate in this thing. Um, let's see what else have we got here. All right, so. Like I was saying, I want to create a, te a text style. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, this one's going to be called, um, let's just call this one label. We'll create style. And now label, label should reflect that style that we had selected. So here, if I come through and I say, hey, you're gonna be label, it comes up. And now I can just go through and select all of these. Oh. And I'll say, hey, label. And that makes them all, you know, this de they all now stand out a little more. And you can really see when you look at it, you can compare it to that. Like that to that. And you specifically need it on these elements where like there's a, there's an art element here between the, uh, the secondary labels and the, the main label. So again, this is this is all about you know, establishing hierarchy in your designs. I think these labels all should come up. This looks like a bit of, and that's interesting. There's some content missing. There's some content moved over. Oh, I think I. I think I know what happened there. That's why it set it so far off. It didn't want to deal with that. Got it. I'm just gonna move these out of the way for a second. Do do do. These little artifacts down here. Got it. But it looks like it also it dropped something in the convert. Oh, it dropped that. Oh, and I see why. That's. Th You've got a number of files that aren't actually in, um, that aren't actually in the, like here's the, that's the desktop. Where aren't these files in? Where are they at? I'm gonna close desktop, close desktop. So if I, if I hide this, yeah, you've got some files that are existing outside of desktop. So I'm gonna put those in. Now I'll turn them back on. Now they're there. All right. So I'm going to copy those. Come back over. Paste them. And they paste it right in. You, you just have to have the the frame that you're wanting to paste into select it. And then it will paste it directly where it was before. Even though this frame is like super long. But with that, now that we've got that, we can come in and continue adjusting our label strategy. Dun, dun, dun. So again, label, textiles, and and again, a lot of times, I've, I've I get this question of like, what do you prefer to design in? What's your favorite design tool? My favorite design tool, CSS. My favorite design tool without a without a, a I will not bat an eye at CSS because stuff like this, if I if I am setting up my styles properly. If I need to make an adjustment, I can I can adjust it all within with one spot. Uh, where here it's you know it's it's like I gotta go through, I gotta find each individual thing, and that's a label. And now we're getting into some issues with like spacing. Like now, now it's like all of this needs some breathing room because you've got a number of things here, and while they are like 
they're relatively well organized. Um, although I'm, I'm wondering, okay, so that's 18. That just feels larger. I don't know why. Um, these things are relatively well organized in the wireframe section. Um, I don't have enough, I don't have enough, um, spacing to really allow this area to breathe. So, and my oh my, there's a lot of stuff down here. Are we missing stuff? It looks like we're missing stuff again. Down below. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff missing. So let's hide desktop again, see what's missing. Yeah, a lot of stuff. Okay. If I can clean this up again. Uh, let's just grab all that. Put it down here. Okay, so we got it. So let's turn it back on. Oh, sorry. I gotta go back up and turn it on. Turn it on. Yep. Okay. So I'm gonna copy it. I'm gonna come back over to the desktop. Paste it. Yeah, it's all there now. Alright. But you get the idea. Um, there's a lot of stuff, there's a lot of stuff down here. Um, much of it, <laughs> again, this is where the organization of your file comes in. And I can tell, like, there's some other stuff floating around, but I can't fully, uh, tell what, what is, what it is and what it isn't. Um, you know, several layers of things. I'm guessing those are the other pages, though. As we come back over here... This is really where space uh, becomes a, plays a huge role. You know, um, proper hierarchy will help you out in situations like that. Um, proper hierarchy will not necessarily help you out here. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I want to do is I want to just take take and focus on this particular section because there's a lot of elements here. Um, and I want to see if we can do something to help organize this. Um, reflection, uh, I always, I always, always, always want people to focus on, instead of re reflecting on the project, just come out and say, okay, here are the five things I learned. So, I know, um, would I to start this project over, um, that feels weird. I'd, I'd just rewrite that from the start. I probably would have designed Okta to be less iOS specific and more operating system agnostic. In the future, I'll design based on development and usage discovery. Um, now that's an interesting point. Uh, did you need an app? Uh, that, that's, that's the question I begin to ask myself there. Um, I would also design a hostel specific interface in, in parallel with the current design, since the developer intends on building Okta as a progressive web app, yes, it might have, it might be all right that I didn't. Um, I'd like to further research our wholesale users. Um, the basic version of the wholesale side would be free, so we can collect the database of wholesalers our retailers can connect with. It will also be much less mobile heavy than the real retail side. I'm not sure what that means. So there's some wordsmithing that needs to go on, go on here. Um, mobile. It will also be much less mobile heavy than the retail side. We suspect our wholesalers will utilize the mobile version less than our retailers. Our wholesale... You know, is that the divide there? I'm, I'm not completely, I'm not completely certain that we've um, that we've nailed it there. Um, and I just saw your note, Rebecca, on uh, the daily stand-up, so I apologize. Um, I'm sorry, you're tired. <laughs> uh, let's look at these um, right now. One of the big issues that happens consistently with with uh, showing prototype screens is the fact that they are without a doubt almost always light and because they're light they lack 
really a background to stand out on. So I want to try to help organize this just a bit so that we can see the work that we've got. So this is Hi-Fi Design. And one of the tricks that I, I've used in the past is to just grab a simple box, throw it to the background, and I realize this is going to take forever because... Okay. Some of your designs look like they are PNG, which is fine. Um, you can actually, in Figma, um, hmm. I thought I could throw a linear to the background of that, which is weird. I can't order them there, so my point in doing this was to see if we can give you a lighter background. Let's go with ease. To give you a background for these to show up against rather than without where they just kind of float around. Um, the other thing I'm interested in is for these smaller bits, is this where 16 plays a role in allowing these to condense down a bit. Um, do you need spacing between? Like I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shrink this by four to each side. Um, and again, I'm kind of roughing it here just based on the fact that I can I can eyeball it. You know, is that better? And I'm also gonna go through and create little rectangles to throw into the background of these images. So we have that to work with. Yeah, question is, does that help? And the only way that you'll ever really know if that helps is if you compare it against what you had before. So to do that, oh, I think I, I think I still have it have it turned off. Yeah, still got the other one turned off. I'm like, did I delete it? No, I didn't delete it. I just had it turned off. So let's um, let's compare these two. Just gonna move all this stuff out of the way. You move over there. I'm gonna move this over here so we can look at the side by side. Okay, so here's what I had, and it's just to putting a light gray background behind it, adjusting the spacing a bit, giving a little more space in between, and I mean like minuscule amount of space. In CSS, this would be something you do with like grid gap, uh, like you'd say four pixels of grid gap, and off you go. Um, here is where you were before, and I think it's pretty clear cut that having a little bit behind there matters. Question is, well, what do you, you know, this is Hi-Fi hi Design, okay? Hi-Fi Design. Unfortunately, Hi-Fi Design is a massive portion of this product, of this case study. Um, and what's weird is, like, I'm trying to figure out if these are 
hi-fis or if these are wireframes. They feel very wireframey, but um, like these look like they're more finished. Um, these feel finished. These, I'm not, I'm not quite sure if they're, yeah, they're definitely, these are definitely wireframes. So, um, so there's some, there's some question about whether you've got the right images there or not. But as we go down, one thing that you could do is simply inject a proper amount of space like between these elements so that you can actually see them. Um, so this is, so here this is, this is hi-fi design and that's great. Um, perhaps I just have this box and it goes down, down, down. And if I want to indicate, like if, if I need something to indicate that this is an ongoing, but it, it's breaking here, maybe I come back with some line work. Um, I'm, I'm a, I'm a line nerd. So, um, you know, just, just take it that I'm going to do something quirky with lines and each in each one of these feedback loops. But in today's feedback loop, I'm gonna use a 20 point dash. And I think all the way across probably feels weird, but wait until I turn it white. And when I turn it white, it becomes a natural barrier between the two it allows me to have the box continue to go, 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 go while giving, while giving these things a pause in between. So it's like, this is the first two things that I'm going to talk about. This is the dashboard. This, these are the next two things. And again, I'm going to come back through and I'm going to do the same thing I did before. Part of me wonders if 16 should just be the default on anything following one of these labels. So like you could do that. You could do that pretty much, pretty much throughout. Um, like I wouldn't do it here. I'd do it here. I wouldn't do it here. I'd do it on all these. Not here, not here, not here. Like 16 becomes the, the, the label accoutrement here um yeah i think i would i think i would do that to help to help these things stair step down um but on these particularly long ones like hi-fi i would i would look for a way to i would look for a way to visually emphasize like give emphasis to the images that are you know let's take a look at what they were doing before like these are just kind of floating around right now, right? But when you put a little color block, and I mean, when I'm talking about a color block, I'm saying EEE, -E -E, which is nearly the lightest you can go. FFF would be pure white. So this is like a really light gray, but you put that really light gray behind these things and suddenly they have shape. They're no longer floating around. And if you wanna look at what it looks like when they're floating around, here they be. Okay, so just a little bit of gray and then using a thick negative line between these elements to help break them up so you can read through them as you're going. Um, that seems to that seems to add a little structure to this really long. I mean, it's it's long. It's super long. But when you look at this. When you look at this versus this, where it's just kind of, it's all kind of crowding together, I think it begins to hold together. And, and this is, this is a common problem. This is not like, you know, this is not something that, oh, wow, you know, I, I, I'm holding, I'm doing this because it's, it's my case study. No, Amazon has to do stuff like this all the time. Have you ever looked at one of their product pages? Like there's all this content. This is nothing. Like 
Every, every time I hear somebody say, God, there's too much stuff on the case study, I'm like, have you ever looked at an Amazon product page before? Have you ever considered how much content is on one of those pages? There are people out there that want to read a lot about what it is that they're about to spend $4.99 on. Okay? Somebody's going to spend 60 k 80 k 100 k on you. I'm going to guess that they, they're interested in your process. They want to see more of your work. Um, invest the time. Like, go deep on your case studies. Um, that... And, and go deep on structure. Like, when you've got something that's going this in deep, sh in depth, showing showing the work, go with them. Okay, put the time in. And and I I I think this is fine. I I I really do think that you've done a good job here. I'm gonna go ahead and adjust this. One two three four. One two three four. Again, what's well, Chris's favorite design tool? CSS. Why? Because he could just do all this in CSS. One two three four. And then over here, just gonna pull that in. I would put a block, color block behind that one. Um, and again, you don't have to do that in CSS. You could just t take that into Photoshop or Figma. You could put it in Figma and then export it if you wanted to. Whatever. I'm, I'm not picky. Um, but yeah, I, I, I really do think something down here helps hold it together. And pixels are free, all right? People know how to scroll. They'll follow They'll follow you. You're not going to lose them along the way, okay? Um, but specific to, like, this area down here, you know, you've got other areas that need work as well. But th the funny thing is none of these areas, like the wireframes, for instance, None of those had so much stuff trying to be held together by a little bitty label. Like this is your 18 point label, 18 pixel label that we had earlier. You know, we, we bumped it up and uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's how I get rid of my tools. But look at the difference, side by side. Yeah, I, I feel like, you know, that's pretty strong. And, you know, as you're, as you're pushing forward, you're going to need more of these tools. Always look to space. Yeah, you know, I, I use three tools here. Three. One, two, three. Hierarchy. Just slightly larger label. Two, space. Give me a little bit of space between these. Um, hierarchy also in that I, I took this main text from 18 to 16 down when it was when associated with one of these one of these little overlines um, but space between space vertically and then line you utilize a line but not a heavy duty heavy duty line this is this is the place where a lot of people a lot of people struggle because they when they draw the line it's like this and they're like oh that's just too big well consider a negative to consider Consider what happens if you if you remove, like like you've drawn on the color block. You know, let, now let's now let's erase from it. A line as an eraser, not a line as a pen. Um, and these are things that young designers, uh, you're you know when you're new to this, you're not thinking about the tools as something that I apply to remove. You're thinking of something about something that I apply to make. And this is this is like uh, this is a little bit of the old artist in me. I, I used to like we would have these um, we would have these charcoal reliefs where we would then go through and remove remove some of the charcoal from the painting or we'd paint over tape and then remove the tape. This is that same sort of mentality um, yeah, it, it, and this is totally just visual aesthetic, okay? Visual aesthetic applied to information architecture. Um, but I think that that helps elevate this. You've, um, I would suggest going back and really re refocusing the reflection area. Um, adjust the hierarchy all the way down so that areas like 
you know, and adjust the spacing here. You may even want to come back and, you know, you've got these big labels here. So I don't think you necessarily need the line work that we're using. But I, I do think that like you should take these labels and say, hey, you know what? Um, this, this bit is going to separate out significantly more so that I can focus in on these other things. And, you know, even here, it's like, hey, you know what? I got to have some space, bro. You know, give yourself some room to breathe. I mean, look at the difference between that and that. All right? And you still, you still need some space down here. All right? So... With that, um, I want to make sure that we haven't had anything come in, the, come in the channel since we started this thing. We have not. So, with that, I'm Chris Courtney. This is the Feedback Loop for Monday. Um, be sure to check out the new homepage. Really happy with how it came out. Um, if you know anybody who's looking for a bump in their design education send them this direction because it's not just about it's not just about mentorship you know our courses have curriculum with them curriculum is always free you can jump in start elevating up but you also know you get access to, to this and the mentorship and the community for a low fee and uh, I, I think it's the best deal in the business otherwise I wouldn't be doing it so with that, ladies and gentlemen, I am Chris Courtney. This has been 100% my favorite part of the day. Uh, thank you so much for joining me, and uh, we will chat soon. We'll actually chat tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. Bye-bye.